One of the things you mentioned was using big data on the piracy side, but the other thing that you're using a lot of that big data to do is provide credit yeah. uh, and effectively banking the unbanked. And what's so fascinating to me, and I hope you'll share it, is uh, we've talked about the Sesame credit. Yeah. How, P how you are able to use big data effectively to figure out who deserves credit and who doesn't uh, in a marketplace where some of these people had no credit history before. Okay. Well, before we do that, we had a system called Teach Computers to Learn How to Anti Fake Products, Teach the Computers to Learn How to, uh, you know, because we have Alipay. A lot of people try to use all the ways to cheating. So we teach the computer how to do that the cheating uh, things. So we've been doing that for 10 years. Until now, there is called artificial intelligence because we've been doing that. We are a data company. Eight years ago, we said to ourselves, Alibaba should not be an e-commerce company. We should be a data company because we have the data from consumers. We have data from the, uh, the, the manufacturer. We have data from the logistic company and transactions. But we think how we can make a data really beneficiary to the society. What China need is that we have a lot of great people, all the small business. They have a very, they are very credible, but, but they have a, we don't have a credit system for that. So how can we use a credit rating system based on the data we have to giving everybody a sesame uh, 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 rating system? That is so powerful in the past four years. Because every individual, every small business, if they have been using our services, we give them a rating system. So we're giving loans in the past five years we're giving five million business loans. They only bought, borrow $5,000. Three minutes, we can decide whether we should give you money, how much you want to give. Within one second, the money will be in your account. And zero people touch, so we call it 310. And even today, the Sesame rating system become people dating. The mother-in-law want to say, hey, you want a dating with my daughter? Show me your rating system of the Sesame car. <laughs> So it's so funny, we go to the, people want to rent a car, people want to rent a bicycle, they will say, show me your Sesame cards. Mm, good, because <laughs> if they do not pay back, if they do not fulfill, the rating system is going to low down and they can never rent a house. Rent. This is what we want to build up, the system, that if you sell or buy fake products, the Sesame cards will show. Very politic. Let's take one final question if we can. I think we can steal one more in. Uh, yes, sir, right there. I'm not a politician. I, just, I try to speak like me a credit Thanks. store. How do you assure you are not messing up with people's life and you are not dictating the whole you know, credit kingdom or the system? Because now you are the decision makers. You are the rule makers. OK. First, I'm not sure. People say, oh, this is an uncertain world. Every day is uncertain. The only certain day was yesterday. I'm not sure about that in the future I, can, I will dictate, I will be stupid. That's why I should retire early when I'm young. That is why I have a lot of things that I dream I want to do. I want to do philanthropy, I want to be a teacher, I want to go back to school, I want to do the environment. And the world is so wonderful. Why should I be the CEO of Alibaba all the time? I'm, I'm coming to this world not to work. I want to come to this world to enjoy my life. I don't want to die in my office. I want to die on the beaches. <laughs> it's a wonderful message. Jack. My